Hello and welcome to our channel Super Lifestyle. If you like our videos, don't forget to share, like and subscribe. And if you want to watch our videos exclusively, all you have to do is turn on the notification bell down below. And in today's video, we are going to talk about a very serious topic in the whole world at the moment, which is coronavirus. And if you want to know how Islam have discovered this deadly virus 14 decades before today, Stay tuned and watch till the end. People all around the world are scared of the outbreak of coronavirus that initially attacks the respiratory system in humans' body and causes illnesses. Recently, the coronavirus has been identified in Wuhan, Hubei province in China. As countries continue to warn their citizens of the danger of traveling to China due to the outbreak of the coronavirus, some people question the reason why the world's largest country in terms of population is embracing new epidemics. In the past two decades, China has become a bastion of serious epidemics, such as bird flu, the serious SIRS epidemic, the coronavirus and new coronavirus. The number of deaths due to coronavirus rose to 362 by Monday and the total number with confirmed cases is 17,488 cases around the world with 523 cases recovered. The outbreak was initially traced to a seafood market that sold live animals in Wuhan. Scientists have said that a type of snake might be the original source of the Wuhan coronavirus. However, other infectious disease experts say that the ultimate culprit is more likely to be the bat. So, does Islam have prevention actions against this deadly virus? First, we have wudu in full body wash is a prevention in Islam. According to experts, the source of coronavirus is originally bat and snake, and both in Islam are forbidden to eat. Islam permits to consume only pure and good food and drink. The practice of ablution in Islam is a precondition for every Muslim man and woman before each of five daily prayers in the day and night. Wudu in Islam refers to washing the face, arms, head and feet with clean water. In wudu, mouth and nostrils are also cleaned with water and head is whipped. It is called ablution and it is obligatory before prayer or similar worship acts. Secondly, there is hadith which is not limited to the coronavirus itself but includes every contagious disease and germs that might move through the air and can pollute the atmosphere and can spread around, including coronavirus. The first hadith The Prophet, my peace of Allah and his blessings be upon him, said, If you hear of an outbreak of plague in the land, do not enter it. But if the plague breaks out in a place, while you are in it, do not leave that place. Reported by Al-Bukhari. And then there is the second hadith. The Prophet of Allah, my peace of Allah and his blessings be upon him said, The one who flees from the plague infected territory is like fugitive from war, but whoever shows patience in that deserves a mere cheers reward, reported by Imam Ahmed in Musnad. Some modern dietetics have proven that some animals are treats to humans because their meats contain toxins and in internal secretions that are circling in the blood and it moves to the stomach of humans and affects their morals. Carnivores are scientifically known to be the same cannons that Hadith refers to because it has four large cannons in the upper and lower jaw. And this is not limited on animals alone, but also includes birds as they are divided into grass and plant eaters like poultry and pigeons, into carnivores like falcons and eagles. And for scientific distinctions between them, it is said 
Carnivorous bird has a sharp paw and it is not found in birds. Domesticated, it is known that human nature is inherently alienated from eating the flesh of animals or carnivorous birds except in some of the societies that are reported civilized societies or some of the underdeveloped tribes. As mentioned above, and from the amazing facts that Islam has defined it and divided this scientific division into 14 centuries ago, what appeared recently from deadly diseases such as SARS, which swept China and Southeast Asia and moved to other regions of the world, even causing tremendous panic for all people. And finally, for all these reasons, Islam has forbidden 1,400 years ago to eat these animals because it harms humans' health. Thanks for watching. This is our video for today. Hope to see you next time.